we should be wearing some sunscreen right now because it's so hot, but we may have some relief on the way. A little bit of relief on the way. By the way, welcome. <laughs> thank you. And thank the, you. And the first rule here I gave you away, it's not hot until it hits 100 degrees. Okay. And there are many hardy desert dwellers that will agree with me, and, and many that <laughs> won't that will let me know on social media. But that's another story for another day. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll deal with that later. Uh, it is Monsoon Safety Awareness Week, and today's focus is on flash flooding. You know, flooding causes more deaths than any other thunderstorm hazard over half. A flash flood fatalities are vehicle related. That's why we tell you to turn around. Don't drown. Keep in mind, folks, that six inches of rushing water can knock you off your feet. One to two feet of water can float most vehicles. We also have up right now at KVOA.com slash weather the most flood prone roads here in Metro Tucson. Many of you know on your commute home if you're live streaming us right now which roads to avoid during monsoon, but maybe there's some other ones you don't know of. Head to KVOA.com slash weather for that list. It's a hot 100 at the airport. Good for the 19th triple digit day of 2018 in Tucson. And we do have some thunderstorms popping up mainly into the sky islands of Cochise County. Live look at Doppler radar here showing this activity is trying to slowly push up to the north at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. We zoom into Cochise County. You can see from the Chiricahuas to the Dragoons as well as the Mule Mountains and the Huachuca Mountains. The activity is confined to these spots at the moment. Some of this making it into the valley floors as we're heading into the afternoon, early evening hours, mainly across Santa Cruz and Cochise counties. The real relief coming via Tropical Storm Bud, which is a shell of its former self. About 70 hours ago, this was a major hurricane. Now, just a tropical storm, sustained winds 45 miles per hour, approaching Baja Sur at the moment. Remnant moisture streaming in our direction, leading to rain chances going up. Again, maybe an isolated shower, thunderstorm this afternoon. Afternoon. Tomorrow afternoon, kicking off monsoon 2018 with some scattered thunderstorms transitioning to a more widespread rain heading toward tomorrow night through the first part of Saturday morning. Late Saturday morning, we begin to dry out with some dry air working in from the west. Here's what to expect from this system. Prime time for rain again Friday evening through Saturday morning. Perhaps a half inch to an inch of rain for Metro Tucson. Some isolated higher amounts, mainly across Santa Cruz and Cochise counties. We are not anticipating any major flooding issues. The ground is very dry. This will be very beneficial rain. Maybe some running washes and ponding, of course on the roads. 104 this afternoon with that 20% chance of Metro Thunder and I think we'll see maybe a few scattered showers developing during the overnight hours about a 30% chance but the best bet for scattered storms today will be south and east of Tucson. As rain chances go up temperatures come down Priscilla 88 on Saturday for a daytime high. That's a nice little swing. We do dry out and warm up heading into Father's Day and then the 100s they'll be back the middle of next week. Jeff, I think you literally just brought so much good news to so many people. <laughs> we just can't wait for the rain, right? <laughs> oh, it's going to be so nice and maybe snapping that dry streak. Perhaps today, better chance of it happening tomorrow. 